my friends, and welcome back to the bench. And today we're going to be going over custom service metallic line. Now, they also have a metallized line. See it? Metallized. Now, the metallized is water-based. The metallic line, I guess these are more like uh, all clads, I guess. That kind of metal are alcohol, alcohol-based. See that? And um, that's the difference. This is the only solvent base, I guess if you call alcohol a solvent, in their entire lineup. As they seem to uh, focus primarily on acrylics, which is what these are. Nice colors. I'll be testing these at a later date. But my love of these metal colors tells me to test these first. Now, let's go with some of the colors. They seem to have a, or I'll show you what they mean, two versions of a lot of the colors offered. I'll show you what I mean. Anyway, Ghost Chrome, that's a new one, Black Chrome, we'll go back down here, Super Chrome, all right, back in line, here, right, here we go, Natural Steel, actually that looks like, right there looks like Natural Steel, right there it has that texture to it. Now here's what I mean by alternate versions of the same color. Polished steel, natural aluminum, polished aluminum, magnesium, oh, natural gun metal, that's a nice color, polished gun metal. Copper and titanium. And there you go. We're going to uh, I'll spray uh, I'll spray a few of these on camera, but I will show you every color uh, how they look at the end of the video. So I'm not gonna skimp on leaving any of these out. I believe this is most of the lineup. I ordered every one they had. So I'm ho I think I believe this is every color in the lineup. We're gonna spray it over gloss black, which is what it calls for. And then I'm going to spray them over a piece of plastic like this, matte black, and see if we can get the, what kind of effect that's going to give us. So we'll do that. So, whoops, we'll do that. We'll do shiny black and matte black and see what kind of difference we get. Now, these seem to shake up pretty easily. Well, let's see. They shake up really, really well. Now, you can see the color is separated here. It's mostly liquid. The color is at the bottom. Oh, you can see it right there quite well. Ready? Let's see how fast this takes. Is there a good way to see it? Not really. All right, well, here we go. Oh, look at the color. It's just swirling around. It's creating that tornado effect. And there it is. It is thoroughly mixed up. All right. Actually, we'll spray the copper on camera. What is this, titanium? We'll do that on camera. Why not? It's upside down. Let's flip her over. You can really see the the bottle is a good shape for the Vortex mixer, that's for sure. There we go. There's titanium, and we'll do a chrome on camera. What is this? Super chrome, all right? And we'll do that. All right. These are pre-thin. We get this out of the way. Oh, man. That thing is heavy. Um... These are pre-thin, so we're just going to uh, pour it right in the gun. Um, let me go with the .3. What do I use here? I'll use my GSI Krios. We we'll use this for the. Oh, guys, this is still on sale. It went back down to 83 bucks. It climbed up to 100 shortly, uh, not too long ago. But uh, I checked last night, and it's back down. I think 83. Really tough to beat this gun at 83. Um, uh, because I'm using it in the video, I will put a link below. But uh, man, 83 bucks, uh, that's a champ right there. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, let's head over to the uh, paste spray booth over here. We'll spray these three colors and um, we'll see how good this paint is. We'll see you at the booth. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. Let's start off with copper. I've already poured it straight into the cup. You can see it there. We are going with, let me see. It's about 15 PSI. I'm looking down at the compressor right down here. Here we go on a gloss spoon. 
lost some of the dust. Here we go. I imagine we put this on just like uh, all clad. I'm going to dust it on. Some early tests um, show that it dried a little different from what you're getting here. Oh, it's good looking, huh? And uh, what I mean was it looked grainy and stuff, but then leaving the room and coming back as I let it sit and dry, it it, um, it dried really nice. Give a nice effect. Look at that. All right, let, let that dry a few seconds. Let's put some on the black plastic strip I spoke of. Can't, oh, there we go. Ah, nice and even. Looks good. No smell at all whatsoever. Not even alcohol. I'll put my nose right under it a little bit when you get close. But boy, it does not leave a smell in the air, that's for sure. I'm thinking that's it. That looks great. All right, let's go back to the spoon. Oh, yeah, big difference. Look how shiny it is on the spoon compared. Really good looking color, too. Now it's that alcohol effect where it goes on dull, but if you spray it, you can actually see it evaporate and comes out to that semi shiny uh, natural look of the copper. And most of this has that effect of uh, the evaporating of the alcohol. It dries really quick. There we go. Very nice. Not super chromey, but I don't think that's the effect where it's supposed to give off. Whereas this doesn't have a shine to it at all. All right, we'll let this dry. Beautiful. Um, and I'm going to clean this out with alcohol. All right. I'll, uh, at the end here, I'll clean out the brush. I'll show you how I clean out the uh, airbrush. And uh, we'll on to the next color. All right, up next is Super Chrome. We'll see about that. Here we go. A little bit of a hair there. All right. I dust this baby on. Many of the polished ones and the uh, the other chromes I was doing behind the scenes had that grain look. It's hard to see it here. It looks really good. Um, I was like, yeah, it's not great, but then it ended up drying really good. This came out of nowhere. I didn't realize uh, most of these had that shine, polished chrome look to them. I just thought they were just, uh, you know, gunmetal and just your standard colors. But it turns out they have this really nice shine to them. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead and try it on the black plastic. That's dull. I'm sure we're not going to get that effect that you just saw. But there you go, you end up getting, you know, two, two types of paint in one jar. This will be more of a brushed metal look or something. Yeah, no matter what you do here, you're not going to get a shine. Which is cool. Like I said, you can get, you know, two types of paint out of... Uh, one jar. Lays down nice though. I should, no, uh, maybe I'll leave this alone. Looks great. Yeah, it looks good. I think it looks, uh, 
I did this before. I was layering one of the other ones, and I said and it, it seemed to come out even nicer as I was adding layers of paint. Yeah, that looks that is pretty good. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, wash this out, and we'll do the last color, and then uh, I'll show you how I clean out the gun, then we'll go over the results. All right, final color on camera, titanium. Always a good color. Let's see what we got. Gloss black first. Now, I don't know what effect you're going to get. I'm usually... With what I've tested here, it seems like if it says polished, you're going to get that mega shine. And I guess, you know, the natural, like the natural, it's just going to look like, you know, the actual metal without any shine to it. Yeah, it still looks shiny like the chrome at this point. Can you see it absorbing in? It's hard to see on camera. I'll let that sit. All right. Here's probably with it. We're going to see its true color right here. There you go. You can see it. That absorption I'm talking about when the alcohol evaporates. I speed up with the uh, air from the airbrush. Watch. There it is. So yeah, that's a that's titanium. It looks more like titanium on the dull than on the uh, black shiny spoon here. Yeah, it still looks like the chrome. I mean, it's not quite, you'll see under the camera, it's not quite chrome. It has a little bit of a texture to it. I'm hoping side by side we can see the difference. But yeah, there you go. All right, we'll let that dry out. Let me take out the rest of this paint one second. Now, as I said, I figured it's alcohol based, let's save some money on uh, dinners and acetones and put a shot of this in it. All right, there we go. What you want to do is on this particular airbrush, as I was shown before, let me put this alcohol aside. We're going to just take the nozzle, not the protective cap, the nozzle, which is the second one in. I'm going to grab a hold of it and just twist it about a quarter way or halfway. Now you've broken the seal between the, the gun and the, the nozzle head and I'll go ahead and just pull it back I don't have to block the front like you traditionally have to let me get this paint out of here before I splash alcohol on it the ones we just painted hold on guys all right real time here guys no edits all right see it see? no paints coming out no nothing's coming out no thinner and you can see some of the silver floating in the water there I mean the alcohol do not tighten this and shoot that back out. You're just putting it back through again. Take this, all right, and get that out of the gun. So dump that out. What's left in there? You're going to get it through. Now you can either do a little more alcohol or a shot of acetone. Either way, we're good. But yeah, just break the seal, pull back. You do your reverse without having to cover the front which is awesome and uh, you'll be good to go wait till it shoots clear always shoot into the whatever you're holding to see if you can get a color once it's clear you're all set wipe the inside here your gun will be as new every day if you do that all right
go back to the bench and go over the, every single color. All right, guys, here we are at the bench. We're going to go over the results. This is all I can fit on camera, and then we'll get the final four here. Um, there's a problem here in that a lot of them look the same over the gloss black. And where it changes up is when it goes on the matte black. But uh, on camera, it's even harder to see. It's, it's very subtle, the different shades, which is good. You don't need to buy the whole lineup. You pick the one you like, which is cool. Here is the chrome. We'll start off with the chrome. There's three chromes to choose from. And that's the one we did on camera. A very nice, even chrome. Not mega shiny, but very even. Uh, it lays out nice. It dries nice, as I said. It looks speckly, but then it ends up, as you let it dry, it ends up drying really nice. It's, it's a nice, even chrome. Here it is over matte black. <laughs> well, black plastic like this. And you end up with this. But you can get a two-tone kit. You can get some chrome. And you can get this kind of like on the frame of your kit. It's pretty flexible. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, take that what you will. I mean, you can do it with almost everything. You change the base, you change the color. Now, here is the black chrome. Black chrome. Now, this I like. This is uh, quite different. It's just a shade down. And over this, you get more of that titanium gunmetal over matte black. Here is Ghost Chrome, and I'm going to admit to you guys now, this is a favorite. Uh, I ended up really liking this. Um, it's hard to explain. It's not quite as intense as the standard chrome. Can you see it? It's in between the two. And I do like that. I haven't quite seen that in any other brand yet. This is it over. Ends up looking like gunmetal just like the other one. But uh, here it is over the gloss black. Can you see what I mean? It's it's almost between black chrome and uh, its own. See, it's a little bit brighter. Hold on. There you go. I guess light, medium, and dark. So there, there are the three chromes. Really nice. I mean, I didn't expect a nice chrome out of these. I expected nothing out of these. I never even really heard of them. All right, what do we got up next? Natural. Where are we? Here we are. Natural steel. Now, this has a texture to it. Can you see it? However, that's kind of what steel looks like. It has that grainy look to it. So this actually does look like steel. Not speckled paint. If you hold up to a... A sign like you take our for sale sign. Let me see if I have one here. Hold on, guys. All right, I'm back. Beware of the dog, not Ollie. He's uh, he's a teddy bear. But anyway, I use this steel sign to to test you know certain paints. You can see I'm working there. But see the texture? See it? And that's what you got here. I mean, it's it's got that shine to it, but it's got that texture. It's got that steel texture. So I could see that. That is a natural steel. Let's see how it looks over the matte black. Yeah, see it? I mean, it's a, it's a, a bit darker than this. This is tin, but you, can you see the grain? You see it? It's got that same look. That same texture to it. All right, now polished, oops, polished steel. There we go. Polished steel. Not quite chrome, as you can tell. But yeah, you know what? It looks good. I like this. This is not quite as shiny as chrome. But it does look like you buffed out some steel, doesn't it? Really nice. And there it is over matte. Not quite as the grainy that the original one has. Regular natural steel. But a nice polish. Almost like a polished spoon. You know, versus actual chrome. Not bad. I like that. What is next? Magnesium. Oops. Magnesium. There we go. Almost like the polished steel. It's, uh, it's a different shade altogether. But you can see what I mean by the similarities. You know. This looks great. Now that looks like magnesium right there. Not over the polish though. But you're going to get two colors. It's a really good looking magnesium. I'll give it that. But when I say they look the same, I would definitely buy the, the polished steel and a chrome. But 
particularly the ghost chrome. See it? All right, here's what we did on camera. Copper, very nice copper for sure. Oh, hold on, hold it up. Get the number. And here it is over its matte black base. There we go. Two different colors all together. Very nice. What we have here on the end, titanium. Again, we got that shine look. I think this is supposed to look more like this. No matter what, if you're putting it over a glossy base, you're going to get this. But this is probably the actual titanium color if you're looking for a titanium. Um, let's compare it to polished steel. Well, it's different. So, magnesium. That's close to magnesium. See it? There's a different tone to it, but it's really close. <laughs> All right, let me pause the camera and we'll get to the back four and wrap this up. All right, back to the rest of these four colors left. All right, we have natural aluminum. And yeah, you know what? This is the one that didn't come out all shiny. It looks like aluminum. This is really nice. This is it over the matte plastic. Really matches what it's supposed to be. Natural aluminum. That looks good. Now next to it, polished aluminum, right? Look at that. Not quite chrome, but it looks like I took this and buffed it out. You can tell by the lighting that's reflecting in it. Pretty good. Oh, let's check this on here. Polished aluminum. Hey, you know what? Let's check it against itself here. Oh, yeah, you can see the difference right there. All right. Natural gunmetal. Oops. Got the autofocus going here. Natural gunmetal. Uh, yeah, you know what? I said it looks like the black of the spoon, but actually it doesn't, because there's the black of the spoon. See it? So there you can see the gunmetal look to it. I do like this. This is a subtle color. Let's see how it looks on here. It probably looks, ex yeah, it's exactly what natural gunmetal is. It's very good. It looks like it's got a texture to it, but it's quite smooth. It's how the paint goes on. And this is polished gunmetal. There you go. Check that out. Well, it's pretty close, but it's a little sharper, a little more reflective. And let's see how it looks on the plastic here. Uh, that's almost the same. So if you're getting a gunmetal, I would pick one. Personally, I would pick the polished, because then you can get this super shine look, and then you can get this look by uh, laying it on matte black. Anyway, guys, there is the lineup. Uh, I am kind of impressed. A lot of similarities between some of them, but when you start to get down to uh, uh, certain colors next to each other, it doesn't look as close as it does here on camera. Uh, obviously, the aluminum. I thought a lot of them were going to be completely flat like this and the, the copper, but a lot of them end up with this chromey look. Personal favorite, though, ghost chrome. There's just something about this subtle chrome look that I do like. And here is their regular chrome, which is kind of impressive, actually. Kind of impressive. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I'll put a link below where I got these. I think I got them at New Type. I buy this stuff all over the place. I forget where I'm getting it from. And if I recall, they might be the only place that has them. But uh, that's who's got them. And these are the only ones that are solvent-based. These are alcohol-based. And don't forget, if you're looking, don't mistake them for metallized ED. These are water-based. I don't know how good these are. I haven't tested them yet. So... If you want for me to do a test, then uh, before you pick them up, do what I do. I always buy one of everything. Then I try them out, and then uh, I see if I like them. Then I go ahead and get the whole lineup, uh, what I've been doing lately. But there you go. It's a wonderful paint. It goes on good. Um, everybody's trying to go after that all-clad market. Not quite as good as all-clad, in my opinion. But the copper is very nice. That chrome I showed you is nice. Um, they lay down nice. It looks like they're durable. I haven't tested durability because I... Uh, I just started doing it, but I've been flicking on the ones I've been spraying, and I'm getting no marks on them at all. So usually alcohol base are pretty durable. I'll put a link in below for my gun, my hair, my spray gun, spray gun, my airbrush. And uh, I think, I hope this is still in the 80s. 
It was eighty-three dollars last night when I checked. Absolutely worth every penny. I got a couple of new airbrushes that came in from a brand new manufacturer. Um, he sent them to me to test, and just going over them looks like we might have uh, something special here. These look like they're really good airbrushes. Uh, fingers crossed. I always like a good airbrush, and this new brand could be a winner. And I hope to test that by the weekend. Anyway, guys, it snowed here today, so if it is in your area, please be safe. Keep cool, keep warm, and don't forget, below, please, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, liking it puts us in a good algorithm. Uh, and if you subscribe, please hit the notification button so you know I put up, I try to put up at least two videos a week. I'm trying to crank these out. I got so much stuff to test. <laughs> it's the, the, the silver test is, is going on and on. I, I bought every silver paint in the world, now I got to start spraying it. Um, and if you guys uh, consider my Patreon, I'll put that below too. Uh, that's where I uh, answer your questions directly. You have a direct chat with me. And if you need something demoed, if you want to see what one color looks like sprayed on top of another color, I'll do that on video for you so you get to see in real time um, what you're trying to picture as far as colors go. Anyway, guys, God bless you all. You guys are absolutely the best. We will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your week. God bless.